In a YouTube video by Miss Mexanese on January 25th, 2018, we see Brittany and her family having a fun day at Target. While walking through the aisles, Brittany notices something suspicious. She sees a woman stealing, but it wasn't caught on camera. However, their attention quickly turns to a man who seems interested in them. Brittany is worried and says that he is staring and following them in the store. And this guy has been following us. Look at that, he's stopping and staring in the background. Like I was filming, hold on baby, I was filming in the Target Dollar One spot, and he, everywhere I would go, and, I know, and everywhere I would go and bust out the camera, he would stand right next to me. It was like really creepy. Luckily, the situation does not get worse, and Brittany is thankful that nothing more happened. A YouTuber named Eligato recorded a disheartening experience. Some people forget that she is a natural person, not just a character to be stared at or bothered in public. Unfortunately, her open and honest streaming style often leads to creepy encounters. Right now, she is at a convention in Japan, dressed as Wonder Woman. Suddenly, things take a terrifying turn. She encounters a few unpleasant individuals who make her uncomfortable. And then, out of nowhere, a man with a katana starts chasing her. Confused and frightened, she wonders why he is following her. Determined to escape, she urgently leads the way, desperately hoping to lose him. Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. Oh God. She is live streaming the whole ordeal to her followers. At the end of the video, Eligato appears visibly shaken and tearful. However, her distress is alleviated when a kind person approaches her to offer help. Relieved, they decide to find her husband for added safety. Oh no, no, he's legit following us! Holy oh god, oh god, uh, let's go find your husband! This extreme situation serves as a sobering reminder of the potential dangers of being a public figure on the internet. While this incident ends relatively well, there is no guarantee that the same outcome would occur if it were to happen again. The woman finished work very late at night and made a video for YouTube to share a scary experience she had. As she walks through the parking lot, she notices a strange man following her every step. The man keeps following her without stopping. She feels lucky that she manages to get away from him, and she feels relieved. This video is a strong reminder for everyone to be careful and alert when they're alone at night. It's a creepy experience that makes us realize we should always look around and make sure we're safe when we walk alone at night. Chrissy, a woman with her own YouTube channel, is filming a vlog as she goes about her typical trip to the store. Everything seems to be going smoothly until she suddenly becomes aware of being followed by a stranger she doesn't recognize. Like the other stories she has heard, Chrissy knows it's best not to escalate the situation. She understands that confronting the stranger directly could potentially put her in even greater danger. However, the situation takes a frightening turn when the stranger tries to enter Chrissy's car. Uh-uh, you're not getting in my car. Look, 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 look. You tripping, you tripping. Don't, no, nope, don't, no, nope. you're not getting in my car. Look, look, wait, I unlocked look, wait, my door, wait. but you rushed to my passenger. You're not getting in my car, put, put sorry. Luckily, the doors are locked and Chrissy quickly denies the stranger access. She's visibly shaken, but manages to return home safely, relieved to have escaped the ordeal. The incident leaves her terrified, and she hopes that the creepy stranger is not still out there, lurking on the streets, searching for his next victim. 
Not all stalkers are creepy or strange people who hide in the dark. Surprisingly, some stalkers have powerful jobs and work as executives in fancy offices. This was true for Robert Casino, who worked for a long time at 3M. None of his co-workers knew, but he kept quite an evil secret. Someone recorded Casino's bad behavior on a video camera, and it finally showed what he was doing. He would go up to a window in his neighborhood and look inside to watch a woman sleeping. This was very disturbing, and he might have been doing it for a long time without anyone knowing. It makes us wonder how much longer he would have done it if he hadn't been caught. Luckily, he got what he deserved. Once people found out about his actions, he was quickly fired from his important job. But this scary event reminds us to be careful all the time. We should remember to close our windows at night as an extra way to protect ourselves from possible dangers. For Twitch streamers are strolling through New York during a live stream in 2021. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a stranger in a white sweatshirt approaches them. He expresses his desire to befriend and hang out with them, but the streamers find this encounter strange. They kindly ask him to stop following them, but he persists, insisting that he wants to be their friend. This makes the streamers feel uneasy. No, I just don't want to hang out. Oh. But why? It's, it's, uh, it's going to help me out. With? Help you out? Yeah, it's just going to help me out. As time goes on, the situation becomes even more peculiar. The man requests to follow them without engaging in conversation, wanting to maintain some distance. Despite their discomfort, the streamers reluctantly allow him to follow. Okay. I mean, I just need to follow you guys. You guys can talk okay. about whatever you talk about. You know, what do you got? Video go. games yeah. or something? Go, go, go. It's go okay. I'll just keep walking okay. with you, okay? okay. okay. It's okay. I need this. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> the man claims he needs to do this and wants their trust, but he refuses to explain why. They continue their journey with the odd man tagging along. I'm just gonna hang out with you guys, okay? I mean, if you, let, if you let me know what it is, I'll help you out. <laughs> what do you need? But otherwise, you know, less Try people, out. the better. We're yeah. just trying to move, man. Yeah, let's just move. Let's go. Eventually, he asks one of the women if his friends are bothering her, explaining that he is protecting her from weirdos. Amused by his statement, she reassures him that they are her friends. Oh, wow. Are these guys bothering you? Are they bothering you? Oh, no, these are my friends. Oh, they're your friends? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just they're trying to protect friends. you from the weirdos, you know. Um, so many fucking weird pieces of shit around. The streamers realize the man's behavior is alarming and potentially threatening, prompting them to consider it a stalking incident. This man witnesses a stranger crouching near a restricted fence, secretly taking photos. Uncertain of what catches the stranger's interest, the man recording the incident doesn't appear comfortable either. It is disconcerting to witness someone engaging in such suspicious behavior. Rather than simply passing by, like countless others have done and will continue to do, the man with the camera decides to confront the stranger. He straightforwardly asks if the man is a stalker, seeking the truth. Are you a stalker? Are you a stalker? No stalker. Ah, okay, okay. The response is immediate and defensive, denying any wrongdoing. Nevertheless, the suspicious individual returns to his peculiar activities. What is he doing? While there's no absolute certainty about his intentions, it's likely that the restricted area is off limits for a significant reason. In a YouTube video posted by Nine News Australia on April 29th, 2021, a disturbing incident unfolds as police embark on a search for a dangerous sex offender. The offender, who had been stalking his victim, commits a horrifying act of sexual assault on Sydney Road in Brunswick. Surveillance cameras captured the chilling footage, revealing a man wearing a Nike hoodie, closely tailing the unsuspecting woman. Initially, the woman had gone out for a run, but her intuition alerted her to the presence of her predator. In an attempt to evade him, she diverted to a usually bustling area, hoping for safety in numbers. Tragically, fate had other plans as the location was eerily deserted this time. Seizing the opportunity, the perpetrator attacked the woman. Sensing the gravity of his actions, the man quickly retraces his steps, scanning the surroundings for any potential witnesses or law enforcement. 
Let us hope that the authorities swiftly apprehend this heinous individual, putting an end to his reign of terror. In this video shared by the Lost TGF Brothers channel on January 29, 2022, but originally uploaded and later deleted by Jay Swingler, Jay tells a disturbing tale of being relentlessly pursued by an unknown person. Although Jay never came face to face with his stalker, he did receive unsettling photos and videos from them. Initially, the content was just strange, showing images of Jay's home and car, occurrences he considered somewhat normal. However, the situation quickly escalated when Jay received a video taken from outside his bedroom window. The eerie part is that the message was sent via the file sharing app called AirDrop, which requires the sender and receiver to be within a short distance of each other, implying that the stalker was disturbingly close when the unsettling materials were shared. Hopefully, Jay is no longer being watched through his bedroom window by anyone. In this YouTube video by Clipped and Shipped, posted in March 2021, a distressing incident unfolds. Jasmine and her friend are streaming on an app, casually strolling down the road. Suddenly, an unknown man approaches them and begins to harass them. He berates them with hurtful words, targeting their Asian ethnicity. The situation quickly escalates as he continues his abusive tirade, demanding they leave and stop recording. Exactly! What in the coronavirus are you doing here for Canada? <laughs> What's wrong with you? And you Asian, so you're probably from Vancouver. What's wrong with you? We delete it now. What's wrong with you? We delete it now. Delete it or I'll break everything in the right. Oh, cool, man. We're cool. It's all good. Delete it. It's all delete. Jasmine's friend tries to calm him down, urging him to mind his own business but his angry outbursts persist. Threats fill the air, with the harasser boasting that he could beat Jasmine if given the chance. Both parties halt their steps, but the harasser refuses to remain silent. Okay, no, okay. no, not, not, not. Delete it. If I don't see it, you get beat up, man. Yeah, I got it, man. Because I can't beat her up. I told you. You get beat up. No problem. Delete it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, Twitch doesn't even stay on like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's how it's I know, I know how it works. I know how it works. Quit tripping, bro. No, no, no. I know how it works. Then quit tripping me, man. But this is how you scare me. Don't, don't delete me. Don't delete me. Yeah, Make yeah, sure yeah, I'm there. Yeah, we're good. Unfortunately, the video concludes here, leaving us uncertain about the outcome. We can only hope that nothing went awry. Perhaps the camera was switched off to confront him properly. In this YouTube video by the Sanchez fam, posted on March 20th, 2019, Bree and Dre stroll along Venus Beach with their little baby. Suddenly, they notice a man trailing behind them. There are people walking around, so they cautiously avoid bumping into anyone. Bree, wanting to connect with their viewers, greets them warmly, expressing how much they miss their audience. It's Saturday, and they mention the heavy traffic on the 101 freeway. People walking yeah, back and forth. So I'm trying not to hit anybody. Um, but how are you guys doing? We miss you guys. It's Saturday. There was freaking traffic up the yin yang on the 101. Yeah. So yeah, it's Saturday. The couple acknowledges the man's presence through their camera but chooses to play it cool, continuing their vlog without acknowledging him directly. Curiously, the man takes out his phone and a smile spreads across his face as he looks at the screen. Maybe he's taking a photo or reading a funny text message. Nonetheless, Bree feels uneasy and clings to Dre's arm for reassurance. The video's title hints that they suspect they're being followed. Could it be a stalker, or is it simply an innocent passerby who pays no attention to the couple? A TikTok user named Gus Ty Janus is uploading a scary video. The video shows something very frightening, a strange person who is stalking someone. In the video, this mysterious person goes to a house and heads straight to the bedroom window. They stay there for a long time, looking inside without stopping. The video gets even scarier when the stalker comes back the next day and goes to the same window again. They move around and keep looking inside, making the situation even more creepy. The people living in the house are scared, so they decide to ask the police for help. 
but unfortunately, the police don't do anything right away, which is very disappointing. The whole situation is really unsettling, and it makes the viewers feel uncomfortable. We really hope that the police will catch this scary stalker soon. In this video, posted by 9 News Melbourne on July 30, 2018, a young woman named Rose finds herself in a terrifying situation. As she walks home, a disturbing incident unfolds. A creepy man, naked, starts chasing her while touching himself inappropriately. Rose, feeling frightened, begins to run away from this predator who continues to pursue her. It was an alarming moment for her. Rose had been on her way home from work, walking from Sudarbin's train station, when this horrifying encounter took place. The man had exposed himself and called out to her in an inappropriate manner. In that moment, I was just so frightened. He started playing with himself, um, and he was he was calling out to me and like saying, "Oh, come on." At first, Rose tried to ignore him and phoned her sister for help. However, as she glanced back, she witnessed the man running towards her. This wasn't the first time he had preyed on innocent victims. Just a month earlier, footage showed him preparing to target his next victim. The video doesn't reveal if the deranged man was ever apprehended, but Rose hopes justice was served. A fitness influencer shared a video. She's working out intensely at the gym, pushing herself to the limits. However, something unsettling is about to happen without her knowledge. While the influencer Julia is recording her workout, she notices two men wearing masks using the weight machine behind her. What she doesn't know is that one of the men has ulterior motives. He sneakily takes out his phone and tries to hide his actions by crouching down. Unfortunately, Julia's instincts are right. The man quickly stands up and turns away, as if he has taken a picture of Julia without her permission. He then shows the photo to his friend, who is also in the shot. Julia, watching their suspicious behavior in the gym mirror as she continues her training, becomes increasingly worried. Not only has the man taken the photo, but he has also shamelessly shared it with his friend. Julia can't believe what she sees. Upset by the incident, she decides to approach the gym staff and tell them what has supposedly happened. However, when confronted, the man denies taking the photo, which makes Julia feel even more uncomfortable and violated. In a YouTube video shared by Inside Edition on May 8, 2015, a scary incident is caught on camera. A creepy man follows a 13-year-old girl home. As the man gets closer and acts lost, the girl senses that something is wrong. She goes inside her house and tries to close the door to keep the man out. However, he forces his way in. Undeterred, the brave girl scratches and slaps the man's face, making him let go of her. She cleverly informs him about the security cameras all around her house, causing the startled man to run away. As the man closes the door, he notices the surveillance cameras and realizes he is being recorded. Knowing he will be caught on video, he quickly leaves. The girl, who acts fast, texts her father immediately to inform him about what happened. The police later discover that this same man had attempted to sexually assault a 28-year-old woman at a shopping mall a month earlier. It's terrifying to think about the potential consequences if the girl hadn't scared the man away by mentioning the cameras. The authorities are actively searching for the man, and hopefully, they will eventually catch him. In this scary YouTube video, a woman tells a disturbing story about being followed by a strange man from another country. But the man keeps following her without caring about how uncomfortable she feels. She gets frustrated and says she doesn't want to go to any more stores, but he doesn't stop. She accepts that nothing good will come out of this situation. For like two, almost two or three different stores, y'all, please get this man. Please, y'all. I don't know what to do, man. I'm by myself. I ain't got nobody with me. And people at the store ain't gonna do nothing. So I don't know. Please, y'all. Come on, baby. Let me. This is this is not a prank. Please, y'all. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Please, please, y'all. I don't know what to do. He been following me for like almost ten minutes, y'all. Please get somebody. Cause I can't do this. 
please and stop following me though? Look, it ain't my fault. Could you please stop following me though? But could you please God gave stop you that following me nicely? Can you please stop following me? I let you be. Do y'all see this shit? Do y'all see this shit? too much. Stop following. Do y'all see this? This ain't no motherfucking no prank. This is all real. You cannot somebody please help. Share this video. Share, share, share. You can't stop following that video, y'all. Do y'all see this? Stop following that. It ain't my fault. You got all that ass. I didn't tell you that. God told you he had that. That ain't nothing gonna cover it, so stop looking close. Do y'all see this? He just keep on following me. Like, I don't went to two, right almost three that stores. That's all it's like, gonna Like, for do real, something. though. That's all it's gonna do. Ain't nothing gonna happen. Bro, chill. She said chill, man. All right, all right, chill, my chill, man. Bro. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. All right, can I at least get 800? Can I at least get 800? Can I at least get 800? Damn, bro, chill. As the story goes on, it becomes clear that the woman feels relieved to have survived. In this uncertain time, she considers herself lucky to have escaped without any harm and to be able to live another day. It reminds us that anything can happen in today's world, so we need to stay alert. In Philadelphia, something alarming happens to a woman. Initially, a group of men who seem friendly approach her. However, as seen in the CCTV footage, the situation quickly becomes sinister. One of the men grabs her and forcefully drags her towards the road. The attacker is much stronger than her, and he throws her onto the hard pavement, forcing her into a waiting vehicle. The incident happens so fast that it could easily be missed with a blink of an eye. Luckily, the entire incident was caught on CCTV, and a vigilant bystander witnesses the distressing event. Without hesitation, this brave person takes action and saves the woman. A video shared by DailyMail.com shows a man in a hoodie sneaking around outside Stephanie Davis's house. This creepy man would often leave gifts for Stephanie, including a plant with a letter expressing love. Stephanie also found disturbing messages from her stalker on Instagram. The stalker created multiple accounts to obsessively message her, claiming they were meant to be together. Stephanie became afraid for her life, as the stalker would come to her house and wait for hours, making her wonder about his intentions. The situation worsened when Stephanie shared terrifying audio from the CCTV footage, capturing her screams of fear. She posted it on Instagram to expose her stalker to the world. <laughs> Stephanie had been quiet on social media to avoid affecting the case. The stalker was identified as 43-year-old Alex Boston, who pleaded guilty but didn't show up for sentencing, resulting in an arrest warrant. Stephanie emphasized that stalking is not flattering. Thankfully, Stephanie is okay. A married couple was leaving a bar when they noticed a strange man following and watching them. People believe that this man, who is wearing a black shirt, has been stalking, recording, and intimidating the woman for many years. The couple recorded the incident and uploaded it on YouTube. In the video, pay attention to the stalker's phone, which he holds in his right hand. Watch what he does when he spots the couple. At first, the phone screen is off, but he looks at it and presses a button, making the screen light up. He quickly hides the phone behind his back, confirming his suspicious intentions. The couple realizes that something is wrong while they are looking for their Uber. Trusting her instincts, Jen decides to keep an eye on the man who has been watching her and her husband. She goes near the wall where he is standing and places her hand there, making him move. The man keeps looking back at Jen, knowing that she is aware of him. He pretends to stare at the wall, but only looks at the couple when they are not looking at him. Every time Jen turns to face him, he quickly looks away. Eventually, the couple crosses the street and gets into their Uber, while the man keeps watching them. Even the Uber driver notices the man's strange gaze and comments on the unusual situation. Okay, there is a guy right there in front of the hotel that is staring at you guys. Thank you. It was weird, right? Yes. The creepy stalker is wanted for questioning about similar incidents that happened since 2017. In this video, there is a woman who notices a man making a girl feel uncomfortable. He keeps looking at her, 
and it's obvious that she doesn't like it. It's not surprising, though. She opens up and expresses her discomfort sincerely. Because you know sometimes when you like barely touch a car and it's like beep, like, hey, no, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Nope, nope, it's not her. <laughs> I thought it was him, because I couldn't see. I think he asked her whose car that was. Why does it matter? Go away, creepy. Why don't you just go back in and ask the dude with the Tesla sweater? Did you not see the dude with the Tesla sweater? Because <laughs> he makes himself pretty obvious. <laughs> He's got that. What is he doing? Is his hand over his face? What What do you think's gonna happen if he comes out here? Don't tell me. He's Don't gonna sit, sit down. down. No. Oh my god, dude. Creepy. I almost want to go in and tell the dude, like, hey. She thought the man might have asked her about the car's owner, but why does it matter? This guy is really disturbingly creepy. In this video, posted by CBS New York on March 3rd, 2020, we witness a chilling incident captured by surveillance footage. The clip shows a 30-year-old lady strolling along the streets, unaware of the looming danger. Following closely behind her is a terrifying figure wearing a hoodie. Eventually, they disappear from the camera's view, and suddenly, the man launches an attack on the unsuspecting woman. Using a red tea kettle as a weapon, he assaults her from behind and attempts to sexually assault her. The shocking scene unfolds, leaving viewers filled with dread. It's terrifying. You walk home from the subway, you don't have, want to think about um, having to protect your the courageous woman endured bruises and swelling, requiring medical attention at the hospital. Thankfully, she was later discharged. Described as a man in his 30s or 40s, the police are actively searching for this monstrous assailant, hoping to bring him to justice. In this video, we witness a young lady stepping outside for a brief moment. Suddenly, a strange man appears and starts making inappropriate remarks, calling her attractive and attempting to engage in conversation. However, the brave woman swiftly instructs him to cease talking to her, and to our relief, he complies with her request. It's not every day we see such obedience from such individuals. In a video posted by KPRC2 Click to Houston on May 14, 2019, there is a disturbing incident caught on CCTV. The video shows a man driving a green Ford Mustang, following a woman after she leaves the gym. The man parked and waited patiently for more than an hour for the woman to come out of the gym before he started following her. He threatened her with a weapon and forced her to drive to a nearby neighborhood, where he committed this terrible act. Understandably, this event has deeply disturbed the people who go to the gym. One gym member named Annie admits feeling scared and uneasy. She says that the gym is no longer a safe place. There have also been reports of cars being broken into in the gym's parking lot, which has added to people's concerns. It made my a little bit it's scary, not safe <laughs> yeah. at all. We reported it to the police. Unfortunately, it seems that the authorities never caught the man responsible for these crimes. This video shows a scary incident. It revolves around a girl in the sixth grade. She finishes her day at Freedom Middle School and begins her journey home. Suddenly, she notices something unusual, an old man sitting in a black car, behaving suspiciously. What frightens her the most is that he is pointing a camera directly at her and wearing a very unsettling smile. He signals for her to come closer with his fingers, which makes her feel extremely uncomfortable. She quickly realizes that she is in danger and starts running away as fast as she can. To her shock, the man continues to follow her in his car. Fearing for her life, she screams for help. Later, her mother is interviewed and expresses her terror upon watching the video. She had never seen her daughter run so fast before. 
it's just shocking because if I didn't do nothing, if I didn't run or anything, he probably would have got out the car and probably grabbed me. She firmly believes that the man has malicious intentions, making it every parent's worst nightmare, a potential kidnapping. In this gripping video shared by Inside Edition on May 19, 2021, we see a scary incident involving an 11-year-old girl waiting for the bus. While she stands there innocently, a frightening man suddenly stops his vehicle and gets out, trying to take her away. But this brave young girl refuses to be a victim. She fights back courageously and manages to bring him down. Realizing he's losing, the creepy man quickly leaves the scene. Interestingly, the girl's mother reveals that this wasn't the first time they encountered this man. He had approached her at the same bus stop just two weeks earlier. The culprit, named Jared Stangup, was later caught by the police. The story takes a surprising turn when the police find his recently painted vehicle at a nearby house. The most shocking detail is that the man had blue slime on his arm, which is a popular gooey toy that kids like. It turns out the girl was playing with blue slime when the attack happened. This incident reminds parents of the importance of teaching their children self-defense. In this video, a very watchful woman records a remarkable event. She shows us that being observant can make a big difference. The woman keeps looking around carefully. Suddenly, something gets her attention. She takes out her camera and starts recording. It becomes clear that there is a strange person nearby, but we don't know what he wants. The woman sees him putting his hands inside his pants, which makes her worried. She is determined and keeps recording what is happening. Time goes by, and the man continues to follow her for a scary 30 minutes. Although she doesn't seem to be in immediate danger, she trusts her instincts and stays cautious. People sometimes behave badly when they think they won't get in trouble. This is the video that was live streamed in 2020. The Japanese Twitch streamer Jasmine faced a terrifying incident while recording. In the clip, she is seen peacefully walking and interacting with her fans until she finds a spot to sit. As she greets her viewers, a man approaches her and tries to talk to her. Hello. Hello. The man gets uncomfortably close, but Jasmine politely informs him that she is live streaming and asks him to back off. However, the man disregards her request and continues to harass and touch her, despite her repeated pleas for him to leave her alone. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> no, don't stop, man. Ben, stop touching me, man. No, no. Frustrated and scared, Jasmine decides to go home, but the stalker follows her through the city streets. Oh my god, man, I gotta go. Stop following me. Oh my god. The situation becomes overwhelming for Jasmine, and she breaks down in tears, expressing her hatred towards the man. I saw him be okay, not like even like, five minutes later, someone touches me weirdly, like all the time. Later, she posted a video explaining her experience, revealing that her initial laughter during the stream was a defense mechanism because she was shocked and unsure how to react. In a bustling city, a popular live streamer comes to the rescue when they notice a group of girls being followed by a suspicious man. We're helping to save her right now, from uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They act swiftly, monitoring the situation and ensuring the girl's safety. I know you, I know you like it. And then she never, she never saw her, yeah, she never... The live streamer's intervention shields the girls from harm and emphasizes the importance of looking out for one another in an uncertain city. This video shows clips from outside the home of John Lang. It is a chilling story which was even covered by media channels. He claimed that police department was involved in some fraud, and after that strange occurrences started outside his home as shown by this video. He asked people for help online through these video clips. And one day, he was found dead. Police claim that he committed suicide. The mystery remains unsolved. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and creepiest one, and if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos.
In a video by Shea Patino, she shares a story from April 11, 2019, where she and her friend are shopping at a mall. They notice a strange man in a yellow shirt who appears to be following them and constantly staring at them. They feel uneasy about his behavior. Time for your mouth. They can stop staring at me. <laughs> No matter where they go in the mall, the man is always there, lurking in the background. They go up the stairs, and he follows them. This is the third time they have seen him. The guys followed us we were, at Target. We were down there, and he was down there, and then we were coming up the stairs, and he went up the stairs, and then we just saw him again, so that's the third time that we saw him. Oh my god, he's following us, he's following us. Oh my god, he's following Okay, so we're gonna go, yeah. so let's go over there and see if he follows us, okay? Yeah. So if we go over there and we go somewhere there? Yeah. Feeling anxious and worried, Shea suggests a test to see if the man is really following them. They walk towards a different part of the store, pretending not to notice him. The man tries to act casual, but they aren't fooled. He follows them into the store, confirming their suspicions. He followed us in the store. Remember? No, oh, he, was, he was in here and we oh, okay. came in and then I was like, oh, why is he staring at us? Then we went like upstairs and then he went upstairs and then we went around, he went around, we came downstairs looking at clothes, like pretending. So oh, crazy. That's crazy. That's oh my, that is crazy. What? We're just pretending and he just like Yeah, I know. He's following us. Yeah, because Or should we catch really it? That's not even a joke. Oh no, baby, we can. Like, why would you be looking at like girl stuff, like girl dress, yeah, why? like by yourself? Like, clearly you're following. Us. We found him again. Realizing how serious the situation is, Shay's friend expresses her fear, and Shay reassures her that they will confront the man. They find him again, and he continues to follow them intentionally. Look, he's right there. He's literally following us. <gasps> like, catch things like that. Luckily, the two women are able to escape unharmed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.